Budget Blinds. Visit their showroom or call today for a free in-home consultation. And Moses joins us for a first look at sports. Now, the Lloydminster Bobcats said they need to increase their scoring, and they made a big improvements today <laughs> for that. Uh, to say the least, I know the Cats have been trying to do this for a while, looking for that bona fide goal scorer. It seems they found one while shipping out a couple rookies for Josh Jockaman. On his way to the Calgary Canucks in exchange for forward Zach McNeil and a defenseman named Graydon Robinson. Shortly after McNeil was moved along with a defenseman Brendan Callis to the Nippewin Hawks of the SJHL. The Cats in return get an offensive threat in 20-year-old Chris Spriggs. The forward has 14 goals, 25 points in only 23 games. You know, it's a great honor to, uh, to be brought into here. It's the only team that's going to the RBC Cup that's uh, hosting. I think it's, uh, oh, it's going to be great. I think it's uh, a little weight on my shoulders, but hopefully uh, everything goes well in the first game and I can uh, get off to a good start for sure. It's no secret. We've got uh, a couple little tweaks that we wanted to make. And, um, yeah, Spriggs was available and kind of fit the, the role that we were looking for and, and uh, fit into a piece that we need to, to add before we kind of get into the stretch drive here. It's definitely a faster pace. I think uh, when I was growing up playing in midget, playing midget triple here in Alberta, I've uh, seen a couple uh, AJ games. I think it's uh, it suits my game. I think I'm a fast player, so I think I'll, uh, I'll adjust pretty well. Spriggs is expected to suit up this weekend. Now, earlier this month, the Cats shipped out Taylor Latoski. They brought in a defenseman named Stefan Wood, who's played a couple games already. Now, the Bonneville Pontiacs were in action last night on a four-game win streak after crushing Canmore 6-1. Alden Dupuis led the way offensively with two goals and two apples. The Pontiacs are back in action Friday, taking on the Brooks Bandits. Now the Lloyd Comp Barons basketball teams will tip off their season this weekend with tournaments in Edmonton. The boys are at the Mike Dea Classic, hosted by St. Apex. Uh, with the other school sports wrapping up, the Barons had little time to practice as a unit. Bert Morton reports. It's tough, you know, getting everybody together here with uh, with uh, volleyball still going on, football just wrapping up. But uh, we're in a fortunate situation, just that we're kind of picking up where we left off last year, and the guys remember, you know, our offensive systems, our defensive systems, and it's just kind of a matter of shaking off the rust and getting going with the season. The small amount of time on the court, the Barons already have a good team bond and look strong. I'm liking what I'm seeing from my team so far. Um, the guys are really just here. They're working hard. We're learning systems. We're learning plays. We're getting back into the swing of conditioning in the basketball sense. We have a lot of football players on the team that are still in pretty good shape from that season, but it's a different style of running, different game. Um, we're really just get, shaking the rust off and getting back into the game. The Barons are a very veteran team with eight grade 12s and four grade 11s, but will lean on Hahn and Zach Wilson to carry the team. You know, they'll be our two guys that will count on heavily game in and game out, and I we have strong supporting cast with a lot of the other guys. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's going to be an exciting season just with, uh, you know, having such a, a veteran roster like that. We'll, we feel like we can uh, compete with pretty well any with everybody, and uh, we should be in most of the games this year. The season hasn't started yet but the Barons already have high goals for this year's team. Put in a strong showing in, in provincials that's a long ways away but it's uh, it's something that I know these guys already have in the back of their mind that we're gonna you know take uh, take steps towards um, you know making a, a solid uh, showing there in provincials once again this year. Yeah. With our veteran team we look to be competitive in Alberta this year uh, we haven't been competitive for 10 or 11 years and I think this is our year to do it if we're going to make a statement in basketball, Alberta. The tournament tips off to more and runs till Saturday. Brett Morton, New Cap Sports. Thanks a lot, Brett. We're going to still stick with high school sports. The Lloyd Comp Barons volleyball teams are in Edmonton for their 4A Provincials, and both were in preliminary games today. The ladies dropping their opening match this morning to the Foothills Composite Falcons from Okotoks in straight sets. They then took on Heron Ainley from Edmonton later this afternoon and lost a close one, 25-20 and 25-22. Meanwhile, the boys would also drop their opening match to Bev Facey from Sherwood Park, 25-22 and 25-18 and then dropped their second match of the day to Foothills, 25-18 and 25-23. Both teams are in action later tonight. While sticking with the Eskimos, one former head coach was in the Border City today and gave us his opinion on the upcoming Grey Cup. I think the league can have asked for a better matchup. 
Gavis Reed was head coach of the Eskimos from 2011 to 2013 and is very familiar with the core of the roster that will be in the big game Sunday. While having been a big part of the green and gold, Reed was ever the diplomat when asked if he was cheering for the Esks. A team that has won what, nine in a row in Edmonton and a team in uh, Ottawa uh, that is two years in existence. And they've done a phenomenal job, both organizations, of putting together a tremendous football team. And I, I truly believe this is going to be one of those classic great cups that you're going to watch over and over again.